Thanks, Abel. No, but we caught sight of Leo fleeing across the river. It has to be checked. It has to be Chelbert. He's the only prize worth taking in this mud sink. God damn you! Jailbeard, he's in trouble. Won't back down, Len. Please, you do not want to do this. Leofred, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofred. There's nothing left to fight for. Storm Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofrit. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. Not yet. Fight me here. Go on then. End it. No appeal to your guard? Or your king? I swore an oath to Sir Borgrid to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane. ...fighting a dishonorable war. Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth... ...or glory. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted, so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor... 
You have shown me a great kindness. It is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden, Chilbert. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You're a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrin. I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forged a new path. You're right about him, Chelbert. And right... Chelbert! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his See for yourself. You're an Othlinger now. Or Aethling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's a horrible title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. We honored you today. But bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. My blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now. Everyone has gained something. Silver. Honor. Allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil. All across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Blinker here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Cheolbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, wolf kissed. It's a sign of friendship. Should you call, the brothers Rangnason will come. You honor me, Abba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert, too. It's a brave little twig. That's good to hear. Now then, Leovrit's 
said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If you can't hear my name, I'll be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. The wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. There. That's the statue the Celots use. But smoke and ashes now. That should get those salads off my back. May I see your stores? You have a keen eye for quality. I do good work, I must say. I'm off. Be well, friend. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> What have you got for me today? Only a fool would pass this up. You did wise. I'm a... I'll 
Always a pleasure, Eval. Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lichestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes? Or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. You have not been long in England, have you? I see by this map you have barely scratched Mercia. Give it time, little lord. Wessex untouched? North Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. I want to see the... I have changed my mind. I should go. Good day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I'm the one you'll speak with. Ranvid tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes. Vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child? My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. 
You seem strangely familiar. Perhaps we have met in another life. But most likely, I have a common face. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, note the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grand... A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Sack. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Frey follow. Safe travels.
Eivor, what a... Oh, dear. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. Volka! Godzebo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. That Valka, I see. What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? Octavian. A strange man. I think you'll like him. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... ...it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home.
Andy mention this place. The last known location of the Summer Army. Hale! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. I have heard the name. You helped the sons of Ragnar overthrow the Mercian king. Well met. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of wattle and daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Soma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. That's terrible. How were you ambushed? It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yalsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. This place is kept in guard. Slaughtered them like cattle too. Shame we have to take prisoners at all. They'll live just long enough to serve as an example to the others. Lord Wigman's wrath is as grand as it is swift.
Not breathing. How Is there Yal's corner nearby? Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash and wrap it well. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. 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 Ah! Ah! You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. But we have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Granbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grant Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bilna, Galin, Liv. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them, and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? 
If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? What does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grant's bridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grant Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. <laughs>